Some 300,000 Malaysians who cross into Singapore daily through the causeway and Tuas won't be able to do so from tomorrow. This comes after Malaysia's Prime Minister Mohedin Yassin announced an order on Monday night that prohibits all travel abroad. This in an effort to stem the spread of the coronavirus in Malaysia. Starting tomorrow, March 18th, the restricted movement order will last until the end of the month. During these two weeks, Malaysians will not be able to go overseas and foreigners will not be allowed to enter the country regardless of their purpose. In a Facebook post today, Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung said that the flow of goods and cargo between Singapore and Malaysia will continue. This includes food supplies. PM Lee also said he spoke to Mr Muhyiddin today. They agreed to appoint senior ministers on both sides to, to coordinate responses to the COVID-19 outbreak, with Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien in that role. Back home, the Ministry of Manpower announced measures to accommodate workers affected by the lockdown. It is estimated that more than 100,000 Malaysians have no living arrangements in Singapore. So these measures include working with employers to encourage these workers to stay with their relatives, friends or colleagues if possible. For those who don't have these options, the Ministry will also work with some hotels and dormitories to find suitable accommodations. Manpower Minister Josephine Chiu addressed these issues when she was on Money FM 89.3 earlier today. Um, I give a lot of credit to the companies because although the news came um, uh, to most of the businesses as a bit of a surprise, uh, by mid-morning today we knew that uh, businesses were uh, responding quite calmly, quite rationally. Um, they were quickly thinking about you know, which were the workers uh, that were impacted that uh, they would have to find alternative accommodation for and uh, which of the workers they may have to arrange uh, to return to Malaysia for the mm -hmm. time being. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they tapped uh, into their networks, you know, um, in some cases um, they called up hotels, in some cases they called up um, dormitory operators and in others um, they reached out to their employers and said, and employees and they mm -hmm. said, you know, would you have uh, family members who are able to accommodate you? Mm -hmm. So I I think um, a lot of credit to the companies and MOM is also helping them. Mm -hmm. uh, we've uh, issued an advisory and uh, we've put up on our website uh, the list of accommodations.